All right, uh, this is a continuation from the first uh, tutorial, which was uh, setting up a CentOS FTP server. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to uh, configure our router so that way we can have uh, access from outside of our home network. Uh, first off, you want to gather your gateway IP address. You can do so by logging back in under root and uh, look at the um, I'll pull up the system network configuration file and under device configuration ETH0 you'll see that the default gateway IP is 192.168.0.1 go ahead and OK through this save it save and quit let's open up a web browser and I think I've already got that opened up and I've already logged in. <clears throat> Basically what we want to do here is um, now every router is different but it has the same or there's the same idea behind it and the idea is to open up the ports so that anything that's coming on accessing your uh, WAN IP address with that port will get forwarded to your FTP server. In this case uh, for me it's under advanced uh, port forwarding and uh, I've already created a couple here for my test environment. Uh, what you need to do is um, create uh, or open up a port triggering so that it will be forwarded to an IP address. Uh, and what you want to do here is actually put the local IP address dot zero dot eight. Uh, this will be port 21 in that port 21 external IP we'll leave that out uh, it, it may be that in your case you don't have these uh, most um, most routers or, or firewalls that they don't have uh, this portion here or the external IP portion where you have to plug something in so in my, my case here I just leave them blank uh, you want to enable this and you want to click apply now I have two of them so what I'm going to do is actually go back to this one here and I'm going to disable it Okay, so now we have uh, the IP address of our CentOS FTP server. Uh, anything coming in with port 21 is going to be routed over to the CentOS server. Uh, and it's uh, enabled. Alright, now we're done here. I'm going to just minimize this here. Uh, what we have to do now is actually determine what are, what is our WAN IP address. Um, the easiest way is to go to Google and type in uh, WAN IP. Click on the second one here, and it's telling me that my IP or my WAN IP is this here. Now, what I'm going to show you is, uh, what I'm going to do is actually log into a remote computer, and then from that computer, try to access my FTP server uh, within my internal home network. So that I can access my um, or access another computer that's uh, outside of my network here. Okay, so I have uh, accessed uh, a computer that's actually off my network, and this is actually um, uh, a computer that is, uh, I want to say, about uh, 15 miles away from where I'm at. So um, let's open up FileZilla, and what we're going to do is actually, we're going to open up the um, internet again and let's take a look at this here and it's saying that our IP address is 98.255.23.187 put that in here 
98.255.23.187 have that there and what we want to do is actually we want to put in the uh, backup account and the password we've created port 21 and enter to connect in and there you go we're connected and what we can do here is actually transfer some other files that we have in uh, just to show that it is actually working now basically um, this um, was put together uh, about a year ago uh, by myself and my partner um, because we needed an FTP server to store our websites uh, from web hosting management or WHM and cPanel so uh, instead of paying for a service we actually use this uh, we have uh, two or three servers set up so that way our data can be backed up and it's very useful and it doesn't uh, add any cost to us at all so let's uh, verify that the data has actually been transferred over to our server and we're going to do that by logging into CentOS but before we do that let's exit out of the root uh, account let's log into the backup account and we're in ls and it shows that we have our files here and they're all in here so this is just a very simple uh, CentOS FTP uh, uh, server uh, uh, that way um, was well, basically used for just um, transferring data and saving data uh, through FTP protocol uh, and it's uh, something that's very helpful and useful for us and uh, I'm just glad uh, that I can share with everyone. So if you like this tutorial, uh, please uh, subscribe. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.